Hello there and welcome to another speed build. Um, I made this speed build for the Delegacy Blueprint competition. Um, and I saw a lot of others who had made this competition on the gallery. And a lot of people had made uh, modern or contemporary houses. Of course there was other kinds of houses as well, but I think the most is modern or contemporary. So I wanted to do something different, so I did a medieval house. And the roof looks terrible right now, but I will change it so you don't have to worry about that. Um, I wanted to try to make this uh, tower roof look on it, but yeah, as you can see it looks really bad, so I will change it. I also thought it would be kind of cool to have some uh, plants or grass on this roof piece. And I really like how that looks. And I'm just placing in some pillars here. And I think it was really fun that the Ligracy made this competition. Um, yeah, if you haven't seen the competition, it's about uh, that she made a blueprint. And uh, yeah, the people are supposed to build a house from that. And you can't change the walls where they are. You can just change... Uh, and build more rooms or more walls inside of the build. And you can do the landscaping however you want and place the roof however you want as well. And she placed two items inside of this house. It was one toilet and one uh, counter. And these objects you can't um, rotate or delete or anything, you have to have them in the place they are. Uh, and yeah, you will see the toilet and the counter when I am furnishing this build. Um, yeah, you could also place windows however you want and decoration items however you want. And extending the balconies and foundations. Um, so here I'm trying to figure out which fence I wanted to have and here I'm just adding some foundation so the sims can go out to the to their backyard and I wanted to make this fence here so this is where the sims will have their backyard in this house and I will place in some doors and some more windows. And this stairs here is the only way you can get to the second floor of this house. Um, I didn't place any stairs inside of this build. Because I kinda like to just have the stairs outside. I think that looks really cool. And... So I didn't place any stairs inside because um, that would take up a lot of place and I wanted to have more place inside to furnish and that kind of stuff. I'm sorry for saying and a lot in this video but I'm kind of tired, it's pretty late and I normally um, record this in the morning or earlier on the day so you have to bear with me just um, here I'm placing some of these wines um, or they aren't wines they are potted flowers or flower pots or how you say it uh, but I like to place them, them like that in a row so it looks like it's wines growing on the house and I really like to do that with old builds because that really makes them look old like they have been there a long time so the wines 
could grow on the builds. And I struggled with it here a little bit because I don't know if it's the foundation that makes that it's hard to place them, but on some places they didn't want to be placed. Um, but I figure out how to place them in the end. And here I'm placing some more because I thought it looked a bit empty in there. And I think, yeah, I will place this detail here as well. But uh, then I think I am kind of done with the exterior of this house. So I'm moving on to the landscaping now. And I'm pre doing a pretty simple landscaping on this house. Because I don't think that people in the medieval times uh, did much hard landscaping. I think they mostly let the flowers just grow. But I don't know that much about medieval times. So I can be wrong. But I think it looks good at least to have a simple landscaping uh, with these kinds of houses. I also put in a lot of things where the sims can plant stuff in this house and uh, this is supposed to be where your sims can plant some plants because in the medieval times the sims probably or sims the people probably had to plant a lot of things themselves so they could get some food so I thought it would be looking good to have some planting space or gardening space in this build and here I'm just placing some gardening details which the sims would have used to create their little garden over there and here I have a fireplace the sims can sit around and also this uh, game thing I'm not sure what it's called because I don't think the sims would have any pools at the me medieval times or any electric thing so this was probably things they would have used in the medieval times and here I'm placing some more grass and some more pots and um, I think it looks pretty good with a lot of plants and grass in this build it looks pretty like they have the sims would have kept this pretty natural as the plants grow and here I'm just painting with some train paint so it looks more realistic um, I also tried to paint around the house but I didn't like how that looks. I know it can look really cool on houses but I couldn't make it look good so I placed some plants around the house instead and I will place some more plants around this house later. Uh, here I also tried to do train painting on this but this is a flooring that looks like grass so I couldn't um, make any terrain paint on there I thought it looked empty right here so I wanted to have some details but in the end I thought it looked better with nothing there um, and here I'm placing some more plants around the house as I said and placing a little tree up there and yeah placing some more plants here as well and some more grass and I really like how this looks like especially with some dirt under these plants and I also wanted some more plants in this corner but it was a bit tricky to get them in there without them getting into this game thing um, but I like how it turned out and I thought it looked a bit empty here so I placed some plants there as well to go with these bushes 
and yeah I also thought it needed to be some plants in the front of the house and, and I'm just checking ev that everything looks okay and here I will take away the flowers that has gotten inside of the house because you don't want the wines to grow inside your house and I'm placing some lights and I will soon be doing the wall painting and the flooring but before I will place some doors and trying to find something that this counter is standing in the middle of the room and I just placed a wall behind it not very creative I'm sure other did this much more creative in this competition I will also be doing the same with this toilet I'm just um, building a wall behind it so it looks normal but I really like how it looks when this bathroom is done but I guess it wasn't very creative to just do this um, but that's okay I guess and I really like this bath corner here I think it looks really nice and here I thought I should play some more details here and I think that looks really nice with these small things around here and then back to the bathroom so I used the show hidden objects sheet here so I could get this toilet I think it looks a bit more medieval because it's done of wood and I'm placing two sinks a bit luxury in this bathroom and just placing some bathroom details all over um, yeah, I really like this bathroom I think it looks pretty cozy and I <laughs> figure out that they probably didn't have bathroom like that in the medieval times but it's kind of a medieval style a bit more luxury I guess and here I'm moving on to the kitchen and I really wish those fridge was taller uh, as tall as the cabin cabinets or what it's called besides it um, but I placed some cabinets over it so it looks better that way because it does doesn't look like just a short fridge you can see that it's something over it and in my house we have the fridges and we have like cabinets over it and um, it looks like it's just the fridge going all the way up kinda but it's cabinets and here I will do a small space where I will place a dresser and something to hang the sims clothes on I will also place a mirror here because the sims would probably want to check how they look before they went out and placing some small details here and some flowers here if you wonder why I am not placing any curtains in this build it's because I think it looks more medieval to not have any curtains uh, I don't know how they did in the medieval times if they had curtains or if they didn't but I think it looks pretty medieval when I'm not placing any curtains on these windows so that's why and it was pretty empty on this wall so I'm placing some shelves and a lot of items on them uh, I also feel that the medieval time probably didn't have too much of details in their houses I'm not sure but that's what I feel um, but it looked really empty so I placed a lot of detail items anyway 
I had some problems with figuring out where I wanted the table because it's a bit crowded in there. It's not much space left for the sims to walk on, but I kind of like it anyway. And this will be the living room, uh, where they have a bar and two couches. I will not place any TV in this build because they didn't have that in the medieval times. But if you want to download this house and if you want your sims to have a TV, you could of course just place one in there. Um, because the sims would probably get a lot of get bored if they can't watch TV. But I placed this little stereo thing. And uh, I guess they didn't have that kind of stereo on the medieval, but I picked it because it looks really old. So it looks better with that than the more modern stereos. Um, here I'm placing a rug here as well. I think it looks a bit more medieval if I didn't, if I don't place any rugs at all. But I think it looks better with some rugs here and there anyway. Because I think it looks a bit empty on the floor if I don't place any rugs at all. Uh, maybe that's just me when I'm building. But yeah, I place some rugs in this house. And this will be a little uh, closet. Uh, it's pretty big for a little uh, girl to live in here but that can be good when uh, the girl who would live in this room is a teenager she would probably be really happy over having th that big closet closet um, and also placing in some details in here it's really hard to find paintings that looks medieval, um, so I'm doing my best and I'm using some paintings that doesn't look medieval uh, because I want to have some different paintings and not just have the same paintings all over this house. And this is the bathroom upstairs. I'm using the same toilet here. And I guess all the items is kind of the same in the bathrooms. Because I think it looks good to have the same style on the bathrooms in the same house. Um, because I think if a family could choose what style they had on their bathrooms, they would probably have the same style. Um, maybe not everyone of course, but I think the most of people would want that. And this will be the parents' bedroom in this house, and the room beside it will be a little nursery. Um, of course you could do something else of this room, or have a child or teenager in that room. But if you have an older sim in that room, you might want to change where the door is, so the child or teenager don't have to go through the parents room to get there because I think that would be a little weird maybe uh, but I guess that's okay as well here I'm just uh, looking through the uh, hidden objects sheet objects because I wanted to see if there was anything I could use in this build um, I could have placed some plants, maybe, so it already looked like someone had grew a few plants on the garden, but I didn't do that. I didn't place that much items from the show hidden objects sheet. And here I'm decorating the nursery. I think this was a pretty uh, big room for a nursery, so it was pretty hard to place items in it. Um, but I place this desk here for when the baby will become a child. 
so it can do its homework there. And I also placed a couch there because I thought the parents could sit there in the couch with the baby. Of course in Sims uh, the parents can't go away with the baby from its crib. Uh, but yeah, if it was in real life they would probably have sat in the couches with the baby. And I placed some curtains in this room. Even though I said I didn't think that looked medieval. But I think it looked pretty empty on that wall. So I wanted to have something there. And this is just a little seating area. I also placed a chess table. Even though just one person will be able to play on it. But here we have the screenshots. So enjoy the rest of this video. And I will see you soon. Goodbye.